Hey guys, good morning. It's Cindy, Blue Star at Home. Are you familiar with ghost stripes? Have you been seeing those pop up on some furniture? So I thought I would show you uh, one technique for creating ghost stripes. So I've painted a dresser in heirloom. If you follow me much, you know heirloom is one of my most favorite colors. And I'm going to put ghost stripes on these drawers. So I want to show you how to do that today. It's relatively quick and easy. And but it's really stunning when it's done. So we're going to do one. I've already got one done and drying. So we'll do one and then we'll check in on the one that's drying. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see the drawer and we're going to get to work. Um, can you see that? Yes. Okay, so this is a serpentine drawer. I don't know if you can tell it's got a curve. So I'm gonna make sure that all of my drawers, I start on this kind of low end and work my way. I am using two inch uh, de uh, frog tape. Uh, frog tape is my go-to tape. Um, I typically use the yellow, which is for delicate surfaces, I just, you know, it just feels, I just feel like it's extra protection from pulling any paint off that might not be cured yet. But this piece has been painted probably two weeks at least. It's been sitting in my garage waiting on me to do ghost stripes. So, um, and we couldn't find the yellow two inch tape at the hardware store. Um, so I went with green and, and it's, it's working fine. So here's the cool thing about um, measuring off stripes is you don't have to measure and level. I'm gonna show you an easy technique. Just gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna start at this end and just make sure that my tape is even with the edge there. And put a piece of tape down. And then my next piece of tape is just gonna go right up next to it, like that. Not like that, I want it smooth. Hold on, that's not gonna work either. Let me move it up. Um, there we go, okay. And then my first piece of tape um, this is where my stripes are going to start. So I'm pulling that one off and this is actually what I'm the piece I'm going to measure with all the way across. So I just come put it down. Get a fresh piece of tape. Put it on. There we go. And I need to make sure all those bubbles are out. Do that again. There we go. Pull that one off. This one goes down. That. And put another one on. So you can see this is going pretty quickly and I have not had to get out measuring tape or a level or anything. There we go. Put one down. This one, you can't really see your comments right now, but if you have questions as we go along, just drop them off and I'll answer once I'm off the air. So we are just using the width of that tape as our guide to space our stripes. Uh, 
end. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm okay with that because it will be consistent. It will be at the end of every drawer. So there we go. Evenly spaced stripes all the way across. And so now we're ready for the next step. So here's the secret to bleeding, preventing bleeding under tape. And this is one of the reasons I use frog tape. Frog tape has this stuff called um, moisture technology or something. I forgot what they call it. But basically, it's a chemical that they put in the adhesive that when the chemical gets wet, it creates the bond. So prior to putting my paint on, I usually get a little bowl of water and dip my finger in it and just run it along those edges. And that moisture creates the seal on the tape. So I typically have um, very little, if any, bleeding under. And I wanna make sure I press those edges down too. I'm just gonna do that all the way across. on the edges of my tape. Typically, ghost stripes are just a difference between a matte and a gloss, um, either paint or finish. So for a true ghost stripe, I could just wipe on a coat of the gloss tough coat. And so I would just have, you know, shiny and matte and shiny and matte and um, that's one way to do ghost stripes. I am going to do actually metallic. So I'm using Fusion's Pearl Metallic Paint and the Clear Glaze. I find that the metallics are, are very thick and um, so I always add glaze to my metallic paint um, just to make it more workable. So I've done, I just whipped this up on a paper plate, some pearl metallic um, with some clear glaze. And this is probably, I don't know, four parts glaze and one part paint, something like that. I, t I tend to do a four to one or three to one ratio, something like that. And I just eyeball it, I'm not measuring. So this is pearl metallic with clear glaze. And I'm just gonna use my little spalter brush and I'm gonna start here at the end and I'm just going to brush on a thin layer. And I'm just gonna keep wiping one direction until I feel like it's, it's fairly smooth. Yeah, there's one stripe. Just want a thin, one thin coat is all I need. And I just keep brushing all the way across one direction. I'm getting a little bit of collection down here at the end. So I'm gonna try to make sure I pick that up. One coat all the way across. Um, there we go. Can you see okay? So see how easy this is, and it's um, and then I'm gonna get my little end right here. Okay, so stripes are done. Super simple, 
and I always pull my tape off when the paint is wet and I, I fold it back as opposed to pulling up. That's just going to reduce the chance that you might pull up some tape. So look at that and no bleeding under that tape. Isn't that a gorgeous stripe? So let's pull it back, straight back, nice and easy. Now, because I've used glaze, it's going to take a little bit longer than usual for these to dry. But that's all right. I'm not in any hurry. There we go. And now I'm just going to take my brush and just see if I, there's any little drips over this edge. Just really gently wipe to see if I've got any just paint that kind of collected right there at the edge. So that's it. So how cool. Do you like those? Okay, so there's the whole drawer with the stripes. And I know you can't really tell on camera, but maybe if I move some, you can catch the sheen from the metallic. It kind of glistens some. Isn't that going to be pretty? Thanks for hopping in and watching with me today. And if you um, feel free to share this with your friends or on your page or whatever, if you think this will help somebody else. Um, but that's, that's kind of my tip for you today. You guys have a great day. Bye.